Okay, hello, loyal followers. Um, I have a question just to show you all I do answer questions. I had a question on my YouTube channel. Let me get there real quick and I will show you. Okay, Hunter Blue asked me if I could make a short video or a video on the move function. The function blocks what he had said. I do not know how to do function blocks, so I replied pretty much. Uh, I can do it on a ladder diagram, and I probably could have function block if I studied up on it some, but it's not really my forte. I like doing it on a ladder. It's easier for me to trace me an electrician. But anyway, if we're going to do a short video, or I say short, they always wind up about 20 minutes or so, but do a video on move function and maybe how you might use it, and I'll give you an example of something that we've used or I am using on a machine that I am developing a program for right now and kind of give you a real real world idea of how you might use it so you know let's get down to it. i'm going to open up my template here still open come on template Let me get it drug over here where you can see what's going on i'll get this one sized up okay i have mine set FC6A. The reason I'm telling you that because I'm going to use the uh, web page as my HMI. Like I showed you on another video, you can use that web page. It's a very useful tool for development um, and testing. So uh, I'm going to use it. I'm going to show you. So you'll see me use it this time again. Maybe I'm sure a lot in the future too. I'll do some videos where I'm using the actual web page. Sometimes I'll use the HMI just so you can see the software for the HMI, but this time we're going to use the web page. So I'm going to open up my web page. Template. Okay. So here is basically my web page. Okay. And in the gist of a, uh, you want to make sure this is an edit up here when you're making something into it. Okay. Then anything over here will wind up over here in a, in the device tree you know for your links and this makes it kind of easy to manipulate this stuff but okay i'm going to do something simple i'm going to thing we have at work we have a machine that has a hydraulic press on it has different um materials that we put in it's actually a palletizing press so it compresses material to where they can strap it and there's different types of material that compress to different heights that strap to different heights so we're setting up on the program for it different pressures so when the hydraulic press pushes down and through a pressure transducer, when it sees the pressure that you program in for a certain part, it stops that pressure and holds until you strap it and you hit a release button and it brings it back up. It's just one of the op one of the things you would use it for. I mean, we have like four different products we run on that line, so we have four different pressures. And we have an input for those pressures to adjust them and kind of tweak them as we go. And once you hit that sweet spot, you can leave them alone. You can just actually push a button and it's a move button that will actually move a uh, value into the compare I guess so I'm going to show you short quick and dirty how to do it anyways on here all right so we're just going to set up a um, I'm going to do this try to do this all the basic way we'll put a normally open there I'm going to call it m0 and we're going to call this, uh, let's call it, we'll call it, um, well, let's call it like we have, we'll call it dimple. Okay, this is our parts we use up there, okay. And then over here, we're going to put a move, all right. I want to move what's ever in D0, I want to move it to D2, Okay. Let me try to stretch this out over here where you can see all of that. Okay. And we'll come down here and we'll do another one. This is going to, we're going to call this uh, M. Oh, oh, trying to do the fast fingers on you again. Let me see. I'm going to do it normally open. M1. Ah. I'm messing up left and right today. M1, enter. All right. And we're going to call this one here. Uh, we'll call it. This is our ribbed product. 
Okay, and then we're going to do another move. Okay, we're going to move whatever's in D4 now to D6. Or actually, we'll move it. We're going to move it into the same. We're going to use the same destination. I'm sorry. So D2 is going to be my, my home destination I'm going to send everything to. Okay, so basically, whatever I'm comparing to is going to be in D2 is what I'm comparing to from the pressure transducer, if that makes sense. Okay, so anyways, here's your, your move buttons now. All right. Let me go ahead and save that. Save and save often. Okay, so I've got... If M0 gets pushed, whatever's in D0, S means source, D means destination. Source, destination. Okay, so when M0 gets pushed... Pushed, whatever is in D0 gets moved to D2. If M01 gets pushed, whatever is in D4 gets moved to D02. Okay, so let's let's see if we can get this going on this side over here. We're going to go ahead and put a, remember, don't use the button, use the switch. We have some different switches over here. Uh, let's pick from our switches we have in here already. We're going to, that's going to be our off. That one right there is going to be our on. Okay, not trying to go too fast with you on it. We're going to look at our size, width, and height. We'll go 50. If you put type these in to what you want, you can control a lot better. See, that's a little too small for me, so we're going to go 100 by 100. Okay, there's our button. That's our move button. Okay, so now for our device tree, I'm going to go over here. Getting device information. See how I did that? I know I've showed you before, but I'll show you again just so you know. Device tree. Going to pull it up. Anything that's over here is going to be over here. You'll notice all of my data registers are over here and all of my memory bits are over here. Okay, I want this to be M0. This is going to be dimple. So we'll click OK. It's a bit. It's off and on. Okay. Let's look, we'll put a little label on it just so we'll know what it is. <clears throat> Dimple. Okay, let's change that to a black so it's a little better. Okay, our aerial will go right here. We're going to change it to a bold. Okay, let me size this down just a little bit. Put that on there. Get the idea? Okay, so now we're going to copy, paste. All right, so this right here, now let's go ahead and move it on over here a little bit. I'm going to put something next to it in a minute anyway. All right, this one right here, we're going to call it ribbed. Okay, as far as the switch, we're going to leave the off and on where it looks the same, but I don't want it to be M0, I want it to be M1. So I'm going to go device tree again. I'm going to change that one to M1, make sure it's a bit, it's either off or on. Okay, it's not analog, either off or on. Okay, so now I have a button. We'll see how these work. Let's uh, file, go ahead and save page. Okay. I think I already saved this. We'll save again. Doesn't hurt to save stuff. Let's go to simulation. Okay. Then right here on this one, we're going to go to run. Okay. This puts it into a state to where you can actually see what's going on. See, I just turned on M0. Okay. Turned it off. Turned on M1. Turned it off. Now there is a little lag between these two. You just have to get used to that. But this is for simulation. So pretty much my web page is talking to my PLC program right now in simulation. Okay, let's take this back out of run. Put it back into edit. We're going to take that back out of simulation. All right, so let's put a uh, keyboard down here. Let's 
Let's kind of move straight and sum this up a little bit here. Just this is not going to be pretty by any means. So you know you can fix things aesthetically all you want to later. I'm just trying to give you the basics right now. Okay, so this is our our text input. This is just a keyboard. Um, you can ch change stuff. You know the type of whether well, it's numbers, numbers and alphabets, whatever you want. Here, the colors, the background colors, the frame colors, and all that. Okay, and all your other stuff's over here. Okay, so this is the size, how you change the size of rotation, all that. Okay, so I want to, I want this to send data to here, to S1, to my source. This is going to be my source. Okay, so let's go to device tree. Data and and look how I've got this right here. This is I've already changed this one to integer. It has to be on the integer or something that's going to develop a number. Bit is a one or a zero. That won't work. So you got to have it on integer. Okay. And I'll show you in just a second. So this is our dimple product. This is how we're going to set our pressure that it's going to send to the analog. Okay. And then we can simply copy and we can paste this. Same thing. That way, you, if you copy and paste, you're going to keep your same sizes. And you can kind of keep your same alignments even. All right, so if you want to change colors or whatnot, you can do that there. All right, and over here, we've got to go over here and change. I want this one to go to D4. So in order for me to do that, I've got to go back to device tree, data, four, okay, make it an integer. Okay, All right, and see, there's no data. Uh, there's a data two. Data two is an integer also, but we're not choosing it to come from here to there. That's going to go to something else within the program. Uh, let's save page. Okay, just to show you how this works. Now we're going to save this page again. I know we didn't really do anything to it, but I want to save it again. Let's go into simulation mode. Okay, I want to go to online and go to custom monitor. Okay, I want to monitor the zero. I want to monitor D2. And I want to monitor D4. And I've told you this before, but I always go back and forth between my, uh, on my data registers, always just out of habit, I do zero, two, four, six. You know, zero, and I do them like that, so I skip one every time, just so in case I'm using a double word or something, it I don't have to go back and try to work something in later. You know, what I mean, I always have an extra data. You got plenty of them in the program, and to me, it's just easier. I mean, all right, now I'm going to show you. This is not going to work. I'm going to show you why. Or it's probably not going to work, anyways. All right, so we're in simulation. Over here, I'm going to go to run. Okay, I want to put in uh, for the dimple. Now, remember this one right here is going to D zero. One, two, three, four. Oh, I already had it on Word. Okay, my bad. Anyways, it's on Word. And if you had it on integer, it'd be the same thing. Okay, so now this is my dimple. I want a different pressure on it. I want five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's, see that's putting it up here also. I guess I should have showed you that too. This this is showing what's actually the value that's actually in there that it's getting from here. It's getting this, this value is coming from here. This value is coming from here. Okay, now here's the part to move. Okay, so right now nothing is in the destination. The destination is where you do a compare to to make something, you know, like say the machine stops, something shut off or whatever. Okay, so now when I hit dimple, it moved 1.1234 into data register 2. Okay, now it's in compare data register 2. That's down here also, but you're not comparing this one. You're trying to get data register two, which is your pressure to stop at that pressure. You want to stop at 1,234 PSI or whatever, and you, you'll have that scaled in your four to 20 analog, you know, to where, you know, it depends on your device. Maybe the minimum pressure is 100 
and the maximum pressure is a thousand, you know, a hundred might be four milliamps and a thousand might be 20 milliamps or whatever. But we'll get into that stuff, that kind of stuff later. That's a different topic actually, but I will get in there and show you how to do some of that later, but not in this video. Okay. So now I want to run my rib product next. Okay. My dimple product's not pushing enough pressure to push that rib down to strap it to the height I want it strapped to. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn on my dimple. My rib, I mean. Okay, see now it moved this five, six, seven, eight. Okay, into there. See how that works? Okay, I don't like that number. It's still not doing enough pressure for me. I want to go uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Oop. Six, seven, eight, nine. Enter. Okay. Move it. Bam. See, it's in there. I, I adjusted it. Now, if this was a button that stays on, which on our machine it is, see it adjusted on the fly because your button's still on. That's how ours is. I, I've been treating it like a momentary, clicking it on, clicking it off. But on our, our machine, I'm programmed to work. It actually stays on. So I actually have what's called a multi-button on there. One button's going to turn off a bit turn off a couple of bits and then it's going to turn on one bit. So depending on which button I have pushed, it's turning off things and turning on things. And we'll get into those later too. But this is a pretty simple way to do a, um, a move instruction. So nine, six, three. Well, I don't even know if I have it set that high because you can limit the digits also. And I don't really know if I did or not. I'm, I must have because see it's only showing one, two, three, four. So let's try three, four, five, six. Enter. Move. Okay. I hope this is a sort of a good explanation there, Hunter's Blue. If you have any more questions or if you want me to dig deeper into it on another video, just let me know. And when I get a chance, I'll sure be glad to do it for you. Um, remember to subscribe to youtube my youtube channel control freak and also please get on that that uh idec plc forum they need a lot more traffic on there this, that a forum is a real good place to get information and interact with other people that are like-minded as they say in other words people that run in your same sport pretty much so it gets you a lot of good info if you can pass it back and forth some people can figure out things that you can't and you can figure out some things that they can't it sure makes for a pretty good knowledge base if you ask me so just please go to them and subscribe to them and that's it for today thank you